Hello. Septic tank details in Akikad. That is the focus of this video. In this video, I'm just going to introduce uh, what you need to know. And uh, this is particularly important when you are doing architectural plan. You have to include the septic tank detail. So you can see here, um, let me just focus on septic tank details. I have this manual, 600 by 450 cover, uh, frame heavy duty cast iron, uh, outlet manual, there's this inlet, you can see this side is, the side of the inlet is deeper, where we have this sludge and the influent and then the outlet that is to the soap pit so uh, we can see the dimensioning schedule we have a dimensioning schedule but this one uh, let me just uh, go for this one we have a dimensioning schedule here So I can just maybe drag a copy. Um, let me drag a copy. Let me drag a copy. So I want to drag a copy uh, somewhere close to my septic tank because you will use this dimensioning schedule to or you need to provide this dimensioning schedule so that they can follow uh, this or you can just detail according to the capacity required or the number of people that uh, that septic tank is going to serve so it depends but you have you, you have this guideline you you follow this when you're preparing a uh, septic tank um, uh, details in Akikad. so i'm um, just doing the introduction here let me just uh, escape this uh, command to stop hanging So that in our next uh, video, we can focus on how you can draw uh, that septic tank in a card. And uh, most of the time, you just have maybe to do it once. And the next time, you just be copy pasting and and then uh, uh, providing this uh, dimensioning uh, dimensioning guideline. So it will be depending on the number of persons that, and the capacity. So you can see uh, you have the type. There are different types which depend on the capacity required or the number of persons to be served. So I just maybe let me just drag a copy, move, drag a copy, just drag a copy somewhere close uh, to here. And just uh, drag it up, move by dragging. Okay, so it depends on the capacity required. Uh, so you can see uh, you have this dimension in millimeters of A, B, C, D, E, F1, and F2. And uh, you can see A is this one, and uh, this one is coming from the inlet, this one is the outlet, right? So uh, C is this dimension, B is this dimension from here to here, and then D, D is this dimension uh, from here to here, and you can see it clearly here, D, and uh, we have uh, E, right, 
E1 and E2. Then we have um, F1 and F2. Where is F1 and F2? Use of feet, uh, inlet, inlet, option A. So if you don't provide these details in your architectural drawing, probably it implies that your drawing is not going to be approved. It is a requirement to provide the septic tank details because uh, you need to provide um, all these in your drawing. So I'm looking for F1 and F2. Because I'm only seeing E1 and E2. You can go search this together. Inlet. Uh, is this supposed to be F1 and F2 instead of E1 and E2? No clear. And now we can just uh, go to this example. And so you can see here we have this. This was uh, uh, our A750. Our C um, thirteen fifty. So this is how you uh, you present your uh, so uh, so fit our septic tank details in Akikan. So these are this, these layers are just filled. You can see it's not uh, just filled. So you just use the fill tool. Or I can just uh, use walls and then uh, change to move our fill. So in my next video, I'm going to focus on how we can draw uh, this septic tank in Akikad. So the first thing I want us is to uh, understand the dimensioning schedule, dimension schedule, uh, the capacity, gallons, liters, and these dimensions. And uh, this is our plan. You can see this is our first uh, manhole. The, the next manual in our outlet, inlet, outlet, sludge, effluent. And then this is, this is to be determined on site. You can see we have a one millimeter thick concrete slab with third uh, millimeter diameter bars at 150 center to center. Oh, what about here? This is for uh, the man for 50 by 600 man cover. So the next video we're going to focus on how to draw uh, this manhole in uh, Akikad, okay? So I will see you 
in my next video if you like this video uh, please do consider to subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe so that you will not miss on the next video when i will show you how we are going to now draw this manhole in archicad okay so this one here is detailed uh, just like a slab you can see this uh, river d10 at 200 meter center to center yeah that is okay because when a slab can hold that 